Hi everyone, today's headlines. Nagaland government issues Unlock 5 guidelines. Nagaland records 57 new COVID-19 cases, one dead in last 24 hours. DC Noglek inaugurates OPD Center. NST CB flags off mobile ATM in Koima. India and Vietnam hold Navy exercise in South China Sea. Policy based on gender discrimination, Supreme Court allows women to sit for NDA exam on September 5. News in details. Nagaland government issues unlock five guidelines. The government of Nagaland issued relaxation of lockdown regulation unlock five for a period of 15 days with effect from August 19 up to September 2, 2021. Nagaland Chief Secretary J. Alam IS informed that the the state has been reopening more activities in a calibrated manner based on a prevalent COVID-19 situation in the state after taking the advice of the Health and Family Welfare Department and the various district task force. According to the latest guidelines, social, political, religious, entertainment, academic, cultural gatherings and other public gatherings will be allowed up to maximum 50% capacity, subject to all the participants being asymptomatic and being fully vaccinated against COVID-19 or having taken the first dose of vaccine against COVID-19 and at least 15 days having passed since taking the first dose. Sports activities including competition will be allowed with up to maximum of 50% and subject to other conditions for public gathering and further subject to detailed SOP to be issued by Home Department. The government officers will be functioned with 100% attendance of Group A and Group B officers on all the working days and for other employees. The attendance will be 50% further in line with the requirement for vaccination for attendance of the employees and staff of the Secretariat and Directorates as laid down in this office order dated July 70, 2021 and further modified by this office order of even number dated July 31, 2021. Two-wheeler taxi and pillion riding will be permitted, subject to the provisions as applicable, of the SOP issued on August 6, 2021 for passenger vehicles on preventive measures to contain the spread of COVID-19. The conduct of regular classes for the students of class 10 and below in all the schools of the state shall remain suspended and the schools will continue with the present system of online teaching. Nagaland records 57 new COVID-19 cases, one dead in last 24 hours. Nagaland records 57 new COVID-19 cases and one casualty in the last 24 hours, pushing the state tally to 29,331 and death toll to 594. The Department of Health and Family Welfare updated that 22 cases were detected in Dimapur on Wednesday, 17 in Kohima, 7 in Mogachung, 3 each in Longlang and Voka, 2 in Peg, and 1 each in Kifri, Peran and Tunsang. The state also registered 88 recoveries out of which 41 were in Dimapur, 19 in Koima, 8 each in Mokachang and Tunsang, 6 in Peran, 5 in Woka and 1 in Kifri. DC Noklek inaugurates OPD Center The Deputy Commissioner of Noklek, Heizo Meru inaugurated an OPD center at sub-center in High School B sector of Noklek town on August 18. Speaking on the occasion, Meru informed that the sub-center would be used as an OPD center for citizens of Noklek and express hope that the OPD center would serve the people in a better way, stated a DIPR report on Wednesday. NST CB flags of mobile ATM in Koima. A mobile automated teller machine of the Nagaland State Cooperative Bank, which was supported under Financial Inclusion Fund from National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development, was flagged off by the Deputy Commissioner of Koima Grigori Tejavili on August 18. An update from the Chief Manager and Nodal Officer Chumtang Kikon informed that the mobile ATM was the first in Koima district and second after Dimapur. He added that the ATM van would cover all the rural areas. India and Vietnam hold Navy exercise in South China Sea. India and Vietnam on Wednesday carried out a naval exercise in the resource-rich South China Sea, a region that has been witnessing growing Chinese bullying and militarization. The Indian Navy deployed its guided missile destroyer Ran Vijay and guided missile Corvette Kora for the exercise with the Vietnam Navy, signaling growing convergence of interest in the maritime security domain, officials said, concern over China's military in the South China Sea. In continuation with ongoing deployment of Indian Navy ships in the South China Sea, INS Ran Vijay and INS Kora undertook bilateral maritime exercise with Vietnam People Navy frigate. On Wednesday, Indian Navy spokesperson Commander Vivek Madhwal said, Policy based on gender discrimination, Supreme Court allows women to sit for NDA exam on September 5. 
In a big development, the Supreme Court on Wednesday passed an interim order allowing women to take the admission exam to National Defense Academy where only men can join. Additional Solicitor General Aishwarya Bhatti, representing the center, argued that it is a policy decision of the government disagreeing with the center's contention. A bench comprising Justice Sanjay Kishan Kaul and Hrishikesh Roy observed this is a policy decision based on gender discrimination. Respondent must take a constructive view. The top court also pulled up the army for resisting opportunities to women and asked it to change its attitude and not wait for judicial orders to be passed in such matters. The top court directed that women can sit for exams for entry in NDA, which is slated for September 5. The top court added that admissions etc. will be subjected to its final order. Cannot create bar for women in NDA, not at the bench. That's all for now. To guess the status, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.